Well, dusk is approaching and having had the main flock of cockatoos here and depart, we are now left with four cockies and it so happens that each one of these birds is in various stages of chronic citizen beak and feather disease. These are all young birds um, and this is a virus associated disease that I named and described back in about 1973 I first described it in a cockatoo with beak rot um, and subsequently about eight years later um, working with Dr David Pass in Murdoch University in Western Australia with me as a clinical practitioner in Sydney um, David and I proved that this is a virus associated disease and discovered the circovirus that is linked to it. Uh, since then we have been doing research around the world, vets around the world have been studying this disease and, have rec and we have recognised it in many many other species of birds apart from cockatoos. Um, so far no one has found a cure using pharmaceutical drugs. I believe that birds can be helped by other means if they have this disease. However, it is premature to talk about that in this forum. People can contact me personally should they want to know more. These are wild birds, these ones here. Um, I'll just offer this fellow a bit of tucker for the evening. Here you are, matey. There you are. You notice his crest is looking scruffy. And this one over here with a scissor bill. Hello, matey. Do you like some too? The pigeon's worrying you. There you are, matey. Come on. Come on. He doesn't know what the camera is. He's a bit scared. Anyway, it's... Um, He's been a regular visitor for the last month or two. Be nice to catch him and um, trim his beak. Come on, matey, we'll put it there for you then. There you are. There you are. You probably won't make it through winter, but you never know. He's certainly hungry. We'll we give him another piece, darling. I'll just balance it there for you. If he wasn't so wary, he wouldn't be alive today um, because other well-meaning members of the community will have, would have caught him, taken him to a vet and had him euthanised. I believe in um, helping birds with beak and feather disease for as long as they've got spirit and quality of life and for as long as there are people who are prepared to pay for the help. It doesn't come without a price, unfortunately. But anyway, there are various ways of helping them and um, I am looking for people to, um, three or four people to work closely with me here on the northern beaches and to work um, uh, to help me help birds with this disease and to um, help further research that I've been doing. I can be contacted on info at drrossperry.com.au info at drrossperry.com.au if you wish to learn more or you can visit my websites drrossperry.com.au um, pbfd circovirus.com or citizen beacon feather disease dot